coming on here to do the tall girl tag. I am a very tall girl. If you are one of my subscribers that have been following me for a while, you know that I am very tall, okay? So I figured I would just go ahead and do the tall girl tag for my channel because, I don't know, I feel like tall women are just such a rare breed out here. So might as well cherish my gift and share it with the world. Um, I'm just gonna answer a few questions that I found on the World Wide Web here. Um, I'm actually gonna give this girl a shout out because I'm taking all of her questions. Um, it's Her blog is called Six Feet of Dork. This post is really old. It was posted in 2013, but I was reading through the questions and I felt like these questions were good enough for me to use on my tall girl tag. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first one, my name is Tanya. I am currently living in Seoul, South Korea. My height is six feet, three inches, and that's about 190 centimeters tall. Okay. Yes, I am very, very tall. I honestly feel like I was always tall. Like I don't remember a time that I was like short or or like the same height as my classmates. I feel like I've always towered above my classmates. And I do remember being like the same height as some teachers like in my middle school. So yeah, I really just don't remember ever being the same height as my classmates. So in my opinion, yes. I have always been tall. My mom sometimes jokes that like whenever she sees like a little baby walking, she's like, you guys were never that size. Like <laughs> she always like jokes about me and my sister and she'll look at that baby and be like, you guys were never that small. And um, I don't feel like I ever felt Okay, I feel like every tall girl has had an awkward moment in their life <laughs> where they felt very uncomfortable in their height. Okay, now I, I, that happened to me as well. I stuck out. I just stuck out. Everywhere I went, I was tall and that's how people knew me. I was that tall girl, you know. And But I think ultimately I can say I was lucky. I don't know. I, I don't know like what other tall girls feel like. Um, if they were like bullied growing up or whatever the case. I was never actually bullied for, for being so tall. Um, I feel like I was pretty much cool with everyone at school and all my classmates. I never really had any problems. Now if they were talking behind my back and I just didn't know about it, that's a whole nother story. But as far as I know and as far as I felt, I felt like I fit in perfectly fine. I was just towering over everyone. My parents, I guess, are, I don't know, my dad is like 5'11", my mom is 5'5", five five, maybe 5'6", five so I wouldn't say that they're tall. I don't know, maybe that's like average. Um, the next question is about the meanest thing someone has said to me about my height. Uh, okay, so if you guys don't watch my channel or don't know anything about me, I am half Korean. And one of the things that Koreans do is kind of tell you blatantly what is on their mind in a way to kind of help you, I think is what they're trying to do. So one of my mom's friends told me that I would be so much more beautiful if I was just a little shorter. Yeah, that happened in real life to my face. <laughs> and you could only imagine the reaction. I was just like, what? <laughs> Like that's how basically how that went and my mom I think was extremely shocked by it that she didn't even have her own response for it because I'm just like I don't know I just feel like that is just something I can't change like I can understand if she's like oh you would be so much more beautiful I mean first off you don't need to tell me what will make me more beautiful okay but if she were to say like oh you should put on I don't know some a little bit of lipstick and it'll brighten your face up a little bit more. You know, something like that. Something that I can actually do or have control of, but clearly I cannot make myself shorter. Like, other than that, I have not had any mean things said to me. I do, I did get a lot of nicknames, but I don't know why. Like for me, nicknames don't bother me. So I've gotten the Jolly Green Giant. I've gotten Shaq. <laughs> it's just so silly. <laughs> I got Shaq and then my nickname that stuck was Too Tall. So I've always been called Too Tall in high school. 
So yeah, I don't really think like those type of nicknames bothered me at all growing up. Some of the best things someone has told you because of your height. Um, um, I ran into a lady in Walmart, I believe it was, and she was very, very like, so positive she has such a uplifting spirit like so much so that I still remember this to this day and she was just telling me like basically how beautiful I am and to just always stand tall and proud shoulders back because there are so many women out there who tend to slouch trying to fit in trying to make themselves look a little shorter and she was so proud to see that I have such good posture for such a tall girl so she was just like just kind of uplifting me and telling me like how proud she was because she was a fellow tall woman just an older woman and just how beautiful I am and to always stand tall and proud and that kind of thing I felt like that was really nice other than that I always get the comment of like are you a model you should be a model like that kind of thing Mm, yeah, I think that's about it. Some people are just jealous. Oh, I wish I was as tall as you. I mean, everything comes with its pros and cons. Being this tall definitely comes with some cons, just like being short does, so I don't know. Questions I get all the time include, how tall are you? Do you play basketball? Do you play volleyball? Are you a model? Are your parents tall? Why are you so tall? I think that's about it. Yeah, there's probably more in there somewhere, but yeah, I get those a lot. My shoe size, shoe size, my shoe size is my shoe size is ten and a half to eleven in women, so I think about nine and a half. Actually, I'm like a nine and a half in men. Like if I do a ten, it's just too big. So um, dating rules, I don't really care as long as the dude is confident. I cannot date a guy shorter than me that does not have confidence because I feel like I always have to uplift him and uplift him, uplift him. In some ways, yes, I don't mind uplifting my man, but I don't want to have to make myself, I guess, shorter to make him feel more comfortable, if that makes sense. Um, I dated this man and he, there was like something on top of the cabinet. And not like in the cabinet, but on top of the cabinet, okay? And he couldn't reach it. So I reached up there and I grabbed it for him and he was okay with it. And I think that is so sexy. Like if I <laughs> I'm laughing about it because I'm imagining like how that could make some men feel but anyways if if a woman is taller than you and she can reach something that you can't reach then just appreciate it if my man needs something and he's like struggling to reach it I'm not gonna just sit there and watch and be like I'm just gonna let him do it cuz I don't want to like make him feel bad if I go over there and help him you know like I don't want to have to like worry about that all the time so that's my only rule it's just I want a confident man he has to be confident to date such a tall woman like me I do love my height now did I always love it no because I feel like every teen goes through that phase of wanting to fit in all the time I was also that teen I wanted to fit in I wanted to I just didn't want to stick out as much as I did, you know? But now I do love my height. I'm, I, I'm blessed, I feel like. I, I'm confident in my height. I, I just, I don't know. It feels good now. I don't know how to explain it, but it just feels good now. Actually, that is a big question that I get on my videos, like my tall girl videos, is why or how do I feel so confident as such a tall woman? So I do plan to make a video about that. I just want to share what helped me um i don't know if it's gonna help everyone but i feel like it'll be nice to just kind of share what helped me to feel more comfortable in my skin okay it's kind of hard to explain so i gotta think about it a little bit but then i'm gonna come back on here and make a whole video about being confident as such a tall woman okay so things i used to do to make myself seem shorter I'm 6'3", so it's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I do. Um, but there were things that I, w I was conscious about. For example, if like I was buying some new sneakers or something, I hated the sneakers with like the thick soles. Like I had to buy, I was like always on a hunt for like the thin sole sneakers. 
but I'm tall. Like if I wear shoes that have a little thicker soles to them, no one's really gonna be like, dang, you look extra tall today. Like no, I look extra tall every day, so it didn't really matter. Um, the other thing I would do is just stand in the back a lot. Like if there was like a big crowd or something and like all my friends were like, let's go to the front. I'd be like, huh, I'm just gonna go chill back here, you know? Because I didn't like being in front of so many people where people were behind me and they're noticing how tall I am or maybe I'm blocking their view and stuff like that um, so I would just do stuff like that I wouldn't slouch my mom was so tough on me about slouching so it was just like drilled engraved in my brain to just stand up straight with my shoulders back and that's just how I've been ever since like I could not slouch if I did my mom would like hit me or something and tell me to stand straight <laughs> so I never slouched I was always like I always had really good posture when I see a fellow tall girl i almost always make eye contact at least and maybe like smile okay um there was one time this is when i went to niagara falls in canada and i was coming off of the little boat that went under the the waterfalls and when i was walking i just felt eyes on me stronger than usual so i looked over and i just i saw this family they were all sitting okay they were all sitting down but they were staring at me so hard so i was just like you know i just kind of glanced at them but i kept walking later on I see that same family in the souvenir store staring at me again but this time I noticed that one of those girls was about my height she probably was my height and we looked at each other and we smiled we kind of like like said hi but from a distance like hey <laughs> like, like one of those things but I was like yes girl I see you I see you over there looking all tall and stuff. Like, I love that. So we just kind of have that, like, that, that moment. You know what I mean? Just that, that small little moment of, yes, we are both tall girls, tall women, and it's awesome. So that's what happens when I see another tall woman. <laughs> something like that anyway last question how does it feel when I'm looking for pants thank the Lord God above that we have tall girl websites nowadays I shop at Aloy, Aloy Apparel sometimes well when I'm in America I can shop at Aloy Apparel since I live in South Korea now they do not ship international which is something that changed recently because like when I first moved to Korea I used to order from Aloy but now they don't ship international um, boohoo and ASOS is my baby love I love ASOS I choose ASOS over any of those other two because their clothes fits me so well but nowadays yes my shopping experiences are awesome in the past those were like the death of me I know my mother was always stressed and hated taking me shopping and stuff like that but we got through it we got through it and now I'm able to dress nicely. I'm able to find clothes that fits my long legs and my long arms. So it's really, really nice now to go shopping. That is the end of this tall girl tag. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am definitely, definitely going to be doing more talking videos like this about being tall, some story times, um, some advice for my tall girls out there. I have had comments from tall, like younger tall girls that are like, I'm still growing, I'm like 5'9 and I'm only 12 and I'm still growing and they're like worried about like just being confident being taller than their classmates and stuff like that so i really do want to share my experiences and just to kind of have like a place where tall girls can come together and just know that they are not alone they're not the only tall girl in this world that there are fellow tall girls that completely understand what you are going through okay all right let me stop babbling and go ahead and end this video thanks so much for watching you guys take care and i will see you in my next video bye